close it. The opportunities here for any young man or young woman are really great. You can go into plumbing, you can go into welding, you can go into fitting, you can go into CAD, uh, design. Uh, the opportunities are abound. They're, they're huge. Just have a great attitude, get ready to learn. Don't be afraid. We're here to teach everybody. I mean, that's, we're here to make our mistakes now so that when we get out in the field, we can make the right decisions. The apprentices today are the lifeblood of our future. I'm actually learning a lot of stuff, uh, how to fit pipe, how to rig up uh, pipe, how to transfer loads from pipe to chain falls, how to use different types of tools. Some days I'm working uh, with black pipe and working with another with a welder and fitting uh, and cutting and torch cutting and all that. Some days I may be working with copper. The first two years you go to school during the day. Once every two weeks you have two classes. Once you complete your second year, pass your classes, you become a third year apprentice and you start night school. Two nights a week for the rest of the three years. Once you turn out, uh, that'll be your fifth year, you take the PIP test, pass the test, and you're a journeyman. You apply in person, you fill out an application, then you take a test. And if you pass the requirements, the test, and then, then you interview and you get chosen out of the interview. Three-step process. Someone who knows nothing that wants to get into the pipe trades would just find the nearest local where they live and uh, talk to a business agent or the business manager if available and he would be able to direct them from there. He'd be able to show him what the steps are involved in getting in. It is free for the members of the union. For us, while you're going to school and learning a basic trade, you're getting paid, you can raise a family, if we have good affordable health care, and we have long-term pensions. A lot of people go to college and they got student loans and all these other things that, that come with it. This is more, you're getting paid to learn, and you don't find that in many other careers. Start early, that's the main thing. I'm 31 now, so I kind of got into it a little late, but if you get into it right after high school or even in junior college, it's a little better because you have a lot, you get the years in, and you're pretty much a journeyman by the time you're 23, 24, so it, you know, top pay at a young age is pretty much what you're shooting for. I actually showed, uh, chose plumbing because I didn't want to go into an office job. I've done office job and that bored me and I wanted to work with my hands and actually be able to look at something that I have finished and be proud of what I did. At the apprenticeship school, this is basically everything that we learn. In the pop, uh, copper class, they teach you all about it. Uh, they teach you different types of copper. In the apprenticeship school right now, we're learning a lot about drainage. We're learning more about the gas lines and uh, safety. And they're teaching us a lot of like the basic stuff when you're starting off being a second year. You know, it's all great learning experiences. You have to be pretty good at math to, to, to be good in this trade. Also challenges my brain. You know, there's a lot of codes to know, a lot of different material to know. Um, and just applying it all as a challenge mentally and physically every day. All the things that you want to learn through technology, we really have it here at the school. Detailing is creating a three-dimensional picture of the system that you're currently working on or will be working on. Computer-aided drafting, also called CAD. Here we have a rendered version of all of our CAD files, mechanical piping systems, plumbing system, duct, HVAC, structural steel, architectural files, and here we actually model and coordinate. This is all drawn and built exactly how you see it. The way that you see it here is the way that it's actually going to get built. One great thing about this program is that you can come here on your off time. So the nights you don't have class or you're not at work, you can, you can come and use the facilities and uh, hone your skills or practice. In this trade you work with uh, different journeymen at times and it's very important to pay attention to what they tell you. You just always want to listen and keep your eyes open and just be open and humble. The journeymen guide us, uh, teach us the trade. The journeyman I'm working with now is great. You know, they have years of experience on here so being able to sit there and just soak everything in like a sponge is great. They got guys here that have been doing this job for as long as I've been alive. This place is actually uh a top quality program because we pretty much have everything that you need to 
to learn how to actually get your career to start pretty much. We got our own pipe cutting machines. We got 20 different welding machines over here. We got grinders, any tools that you need. Bring work ethic and just be open, open to learning because it's a lot of opportunity that isn't really uh, brought to a lot of young kids in high school. Being on time, bringing your tools, not scared to work, uh, hustling. Yeah, just hard work, dedication, always have a good attitude no matter what happens, just go to work, work hard, stay strong, and get through the day. The people that are going to excel and better themselves in the trade are the ones that um, kind of take the extra step and take the initiative. The employer expects from me being female or me from anybody else is the same as anybody else. Your first year apprentice, you go out there and you bust your butt and you work as hard as you can, prove yourself, just like anybody else. We consider ourselves craftsmen out here and that's, that's what I, we try to be. So when you, when you complete a project and you get that okay, it, it does feel good. I have brought my son when I was working at the forum, and he would, and he came down and, uh, when I was there on a lunch break and got to see, see it. And from there, he goes to school. Oh, my dad built buildings and certain stuff. So he, he, uh, he's proud of it. So that makes me have more motivation to do it. Part of being a member of the union and a member of Pan Pacific's team is to do the best job you can and uh, make sure that you're proud of your work at the end of the day. It's nice that after you're done building it and you come back and you get to see, drive by and say, yeah, I worked on that and built that and you know that you did something good for the community. Yeah, it's very challenging. But I feel it's very fulfilling for me because I know that I can do it, you know? It's just, like I said, it's just a challenge, but if I put my mind to it, it could be done just as well as a man can do, <laughs> you know? We pride ourselves in training qualified candidates for the joint apprenticeship uh, opportunities that exist in the building trades. Uh, we do believe uh, that this program is the perfect program, program to pipeline uh, with uh, the uh, pipe trades unions here in Los Angeles. I'm glad that I, I, I got into this trade. It's very handy, you know, there's always going to be a need of plumbers. I love the trade, love working hard. Whereas union, you have everything. You have full benefits, pension, retirement. So it's a way better package and in the long run it actually works out for you. One of the great things that separates us between the union and the non-union are our ongoing training and our apprenticeship program. They are second to none. When I look at my hands, I see uh, someone with a skill now. I've seen the success people have had in this trade. It's pretty much the proof that or that I needed to to want to move forward, to want to keep bettering myself. The trade isn't for everyone, you know, but if I was to tell a high school kid anything, it would be to join the union and and their life would be, I think, would be better. For a young guy coming out of high school, I would say this would be a great opportunity to get into. Right away you start off and you're already in a career and it's just an opportunity you don't want to pass up on. The knowledge that you gain from school will be great. Uh, you'll be able to raise a family, send your kids off to college, have a decent retirement. It's basically living out the American dream.